Hello and welcome to another update video about Rune. Rune is a coin that I don't really cover on YouTube usually because it's not the most popular one on YouTube for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, it's covered pretty much daily at the moment in our gold membership and I know a lot of people are asking for Rune updates so you might want to consider that gold membership if you're interested in Rune. Um, but because of all these requests I've also decided to cover it here on YouTube uh, as an exception basically. Let's talk about the structure um, and we want to talk about the one hour time frame on the rune chart and the idea is, the idea is, and I have to just increase the wave degree here by one, I just noticed that because I lifted the other ones earlier today. Okay, so the idea is that a wave two bottomed in August, 5th of August, okay, so we've been tracking um, in our daily updates, this wave one to the upside and the wave two was a pullback trade setup. The support was reached, if I remember correctly, let's just double check that, yeah. The price did reach the 50% retracement here on the 6th of September. And then we've been tracking the next five wave move to the upside. And the idea is that in the yellow scenario, obviously when the wave two, or if really a wave two bottomed on the 5th of August, this was a wave one of the larger third wave, which is somewhere up there. Um, the pullback unfolded as wave two. We're now in the third wave, which is again a five wave move. And then we should see a wave four and a wave five into the seven or eight dollar region. Now for this third wave, however, to you know un unfold, um, we need five waves in this third wave and it needs to hold a certain support level, which we'll talk about now. Um, but first of all, before we do that, the microstructure would be wave one complete, wave two that was the low on the 16th of September complete. We're now in the third wave of the third wave, then there should be another four five pattern. This is the direct pathway higher. Now this is um, a scenario that as long as we're holding above support can be followed. The risk has increased now because we've rallied from our support levels into resistance. And a scenario I added today is the white count in which this wave two never bottomed. Okay, it didn't bottom on the 6th of September. Wave two is still unfolding and it is an A, B, C structure. And then it can start from there. And why is that possible? It's easily possible because, yeah, wave one is bullish. Okay, this move down, yeah, could have been all of wave two, but it was just rather shallow. I mean, not too, not too shallow to be reliable, but, um, you know, it was only the 50% FIB level. So if the wave two is extending, it could easily test the golden ratio level. I obviously have taken them off the chart now, but it would be then around, you know, $3.18 or something. So as long as we're holding 289, there is nothing bearish here. All right, there is nothing bearish here. So the market could um, just form this extended wave two. And I've brought that onto the chart today, this scenario, because this rally from the 6th of September low just looks a bit like a B wave, just has the right look for a B wave. And we are also approaching that key resistance level for a B wave. Here in this case, based on the microstructures, $4.81 is key resistance. So I wanna share just with you that, yeah, we could easily come down again and test uh, and reattempt the third wave again to the upside if it fails, yeah. And, you know, I, it, it is just a range. It's, it's, it's basically a range uh, which re which goes down to 289, which I just showed you, yeah? So if we zoom in a little bit, then we see a little bit more detail in the microstructures. I don't think I need all of this detail anymore. Let's take that out. Bottom line is, or main takeaway is, we had a five wave rally from the 6th of September low into the swing high here that formed on the 14th of September, which I labeled wave one or A, and then the pullback is wave B or wave two. We then had another micro five wave move up. I posted that a few days ago. And then we had another pullback, which was an ABC pullback, which formed also a higher low. And from here we could be rallying now. Yeah, we well we are, right? And the idea is that we could get one more high in circle three. Circle three in yellow should get to 525. However, this white B wave could form a top at any point now. We've pretty much reached 481. 481 is the 100% extension of the initial A wave to the upside that chopped on the 13th of September or 14th. And that's just a key target for an internal C wave in wave B. Now, the, the momentum is still up. It's just that the risk has increased massively because of that. 
The momentum is still up and I've added the support region which is relevant, which is at $4.21. Any break below $4.21 would be a first indication that the C wave down in white is starting. As long as we're holding that, there is no indication that the bears are taking over. But even if they are taking over down here from this region, as I showed you, the bulls could try again. So it's one of the better setups that we've had. Um, a couple of setups here worked out nicely on the rune chart. And it is one that has played out quite well throughout this entire um, cycle. Uh, in contrast to many other, you know, altcoin charts. Rune, obviously, it seems much more stable, at least on the smaller time frames, and, and provides very clear elite wave structures. That's the update about Rune. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.